Hey guys, in this episode of Broke Girls Art School, I will be showing you how to apply a trace stencil onto a slab of wood. A clean stencil leads to a nice clean burn. It's super important. So let me know what you guys thought of the video and if I helped you out. Some supplies you're gonna need to get started include tracing paper, slab of wood, uh, I like using my iPad to trace designs because I find it the most convenient, but you can also use your computer or laptop screen. So going to want pencil, ballpoint pen, eraser, and some tape. All right, so this is the image that I'm going to be transferring today. First step you want to take is take your slab of wood, set your tracing paper over it and then grab your ballpoint pen and just trace around the edges so you have a proper outline of the area you will be stenciling. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take your tracing paper and tape it over the surface that you'll be tracing off of. Like I said, I like using my iPad, add some tape on both sides because it's super annoying when you're trying to make a stencil and you know your tracing paper is sliding around. Another tip, make sure when you're doing portraiture, this, this image is pretty symmetrical, so you don't need to worry about it too much here, but flip the image horizontally, so that way when you flip the image back onto the slab of wood, it's facing in the direction that it was originally. Okay, so now that we have our tracing paper all set up and taped down, you're gonna wanna grab your pencil, and I do recommend shutting off the light because it makes the light shine through the screen that much more, as you can tell. So I'm gonna grab my pencil and then go around the outlines of the image. I traced this earlier, but just giving you guys an idea of what to do. Um, I would recommend blocking in like shadowed areas that you're gonna wanna remember to shade later. Um, definitely make sure your pencil is finely sharpened because the cleaner the pencil goes onto your stencil, the cleaner it's gonna be on your slab of wood. So now that we have our stencil traced on our tracing paper, we're gonna want to flip the image over so the side with the graphite on it is facing down onto the wood. So we can transfer it on and then make sure you get your stencil lined up nice and center. I always like measuring off of the edges to make sure that, you know, the image is equidistant out from the sides. So once you have it lined up the way you like, set your hand on top of the, the tracing paper, flip your image over, make sure that the stencil paper stays in the exact same spot. And then you're gonna wanna grab some smaller slices of tape, fold in these edges. And this part is very crucial because again, if you're trying to transfer your stencil with like a cord or what have you, and then have your stencil sliding around, then your stencil is gonna be super messy and hard to follow while you're burning. So make sure that you tape this down nice and tight on the back. Trust me guys, I've learned from my mistakes. It's worth it to take the extra couple of minutes to make sure the paper is really secure. Okay, so once you have the back of the paper all folded back and taped down, you want to flip this over, and then, yeah, just grab something flat. I usually just use a quarter or some sort of coin, and then just have it laying flat down and go over the image. Whoop. And then I actually like to go in on the side of the quarter as well just to make sure that all of that graphite is transferring over. <laughs> uh, 
All right, there we go. So that should do it. You don't need to spend too much time scratching it on. It usually transfers on pretty quick. And again, you can take the time to go through and just do pencil straight on the wood. But if I'm doing an image that's, you know, of a specific photo, I like to make sure that all my proportions are on point and I'm not making any errors or mistakes. And it's just a huge time saver. So I've had a lot of work or success with this technique. Okay, so we flip our piece of wood over and voila, now we have our stencil applied and it's time to get burning. Thanks for swinging by for this episode of Broke Girls Art School. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see some more art tutorials in the future. And if I helped you out, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Have a good one, you guys. Thank you.